Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and this is our lesson on the volume of rectangular prisms, part two, using this volume formula. Let's get started. First off, we're going to talk about this formula, volume equals the base times the height. We're going to set up a pyramid, and it'll make sense when I do it, and we're going to practice a lot. So quick recap on um, the base of a rectangular prism. When we're talking about the base of a rectangular prism, we're talking about the area of the base. And we represent that using the lowercase letter b. In this case, the area of the base would be this. And our base is equal to the length times the width. In other words, 4 times 2, or 8 square centimeters that you can see right there. Now, the base or the volume formula that uses that base looks like this. We find that base, the area of the base, and then we multiply times the height. So in this case, it would be 8 times 1, which leaves us with 8 cubic centimeters. That's the basics. And just a recap, and you probably recognize this slide from yesterday. Now, let's look at the volume as a base times a height. This formula, we're actually going to break down into what we call fact families. But before I do that with this formula, I want to do fact families with a, um, a multiplication equation that you might remember. 20 is 4 times 5. That's pretty straightforward, right? 20 is equal to 4 times 5. We would say that 4 is equal to 20 divided by 5 and 5 is equal to 20 divided by 4. That's a fact family of, of equations that you use all using those same three numbers. We can do the same thing with variables. In other words, if I have that the volume is the base times the height, I can calculate the area of the base by taking the volume divided by the height. I can also find the height if I take the volume divided by the area of the base. It's the same situation as the fact families, the same exact situation, all right? And we're going to use those equations that you see there to calculate the volume, the area of the base, and the height. If you're ever given two of those, you can calculate the other one using one of these formulas. Now, an easy way to remember these formulas is to draw a pyramid. Anytime you have an equation that's set up this way, you can use a pyramid where you set the volume in the top and then you've got your base times your height there. So if I'm trying to calculate my volume, I would cover up my volume and then you notice I have my base times my height there. B H base times height, you're good to go. If you're trying to calculate your base, cover that one up and look, you've got volume divided by height. And that's how you would find the base. If you're trying to find the height, you cover that one up and you've got volume divided by base or V over B, just like you see in the third equation there. So we're going to use this, this pyramid. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, throw it away and just use those three formulas you see there for calculating volume, base, the area of the base, and the, the height. First off, in this one we're going to calculate volume. Calculate the volume of a rectangular prism that has a base area of 14 square centimeters and a height of 3 centimeters. This one's pretty straightforward. Now if we're using our pyramid, we are calculating the volume, so we will be doing base times height. And then we just plug in the numbers 14 square centimeters times 3, which gives us 42 cubic centimeters. Volume, remember, is three dimensions, so it's in cubic units. In this question, we're going to find the base. So we're asked, calculate the area of the base of a rectangle, of a rectangular prism, with a volume of 54 cubic inches and a height of 9 inches. So if you're using the formulas, you would use this formula here. The area of the base, B, is volume divided by height. If you're using that prism or the pyramid, I'm sorry, that I, I suggested at the beginning as a quick reference, 
you would set it up like that and because we're looking for the base you would cover the base over with that um, hexagon there and volume divided by height let's go ahead and set that up 54 divided by 9 and that equals 6 because it's calculating the area it's going to be square inches the last thing that you can calculate is the height and this is the type of question you'll get calculate the height of a rectangular prism with a volume of 21 cubic meters and the area of the base is 3 cubic or square meters with this type of question you would use this formula if you're using that pyramid um, you would go ahead and cover over the height because that's the one you're looking for and that would leave you with volume divided by base so you take your volume 21 and you divide by 3 which is your base the area of your base and you're left with 7 because you're calculating a height it's not going to be square meters or cubic meters it is just meters 7 meters high that's the height now we're going to practice I want you to calculate the height of a rectangular prism with a volume of 81 cubic inches and the area of the base is 3 square inches go ahead and try that one out pause and practice go hey welcome back is that the formula you used perhaps you used that pyramid here is our formula all set up the height is volume divided by the base area so it's 81 divided by 3 which leaves us with 27 because it's height it's just going to be 27 inches not square inches or cubic inches there it is some more practice go ahead and try this one out go for it hey welcome back for this one we're calculating the area of the base so our formula will be this if you're using that um, pyramid you'll be covering over the b because that's what we're looking for and it's volume divided by height in this case our volume is 42 cubic inches our height is 6 inches so we're taking 42 divided by 6 which leaves us with 7. it is an area that we are looking for so it's 7 square inches Time for the last practice problem. I want you to try this one out, pause and practice, go for it. Calculate the volume of a rectangular prism with a base area of 11 square centimeters and the height of 12 centimeters. If we had our pyramid here, we would cover over volume because that's what we're looking for. On the bottom, we have base times height. And you might remember this formula from our previous class. The volume is equal to base times height. So we're just multiplying 11 times 12, which gives us 132. And we do have cubic inches because it is a volume. A couple of things to remember. You can use this formula, volume equals base times height. The pyramid is optional, absolutely optional, but it's a helpful tool to be able to calculate the volume, the base, or the height, but you can certainly use the formula and rearrange that formula as needed according like a fact family like we did at the beginning. I hope that video was helpful for you. Make sure to practice using the worksheet and good luck on your quiz. Have a wonderful day.